and kind of roll their eyes. Uh, but after 30 years of it, they began to see and understand a little bit. But it took at least 30 years, a long time, for anyone to know what this was about or that it had any value. Was this family affair? Well, more or less, all of us helped in different ways. Uh, many of those ways were small ways, but I always, I helped. I did some typing, I did some filing, the kids did too, but uh, I always felt like uh, I was also a help because I, I didn't fuss about his doing it. You know, I felt like, well, maybe a strange hobby, but not any worse than working on cars or playing golf or fishing. Every man has a hobby, so I felt like this was his, and uh, yes, it was different, but very harmless, very harmless. Couldn't uh, uh, interfere with my life at all, so it was all right. Did you ever hear anybody say to him, Charlie, that was an awful nice card you made? <laughs> well, of course not, no. Uh, for many it. years they didn't see them, and they weren't interested, they didn't want to see them. This was something weird. And they just, as I say, just kind of shook their head and went on and did not understand. But then when they started to understand, then they raised their eyebrows and they raised their voices and um, they were much more receptive. Not understanding, but a bit more receptive. And of course, when it came full bloom, then the accolades come from everywhere. Isn't this great? Isn't this wonderful? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and it surely had been frowned on in the past. <laughs> when when uh, you saw a lot of your friends, they would say to their husbands or the spouses would say, to her, that was a great golf shot, or that was a great baseball hit, or a great baseball uh -huh. catch. Many people got instant gratification from their friends. Sure. Did he get a lot of instant gratification? Oh, none, from none. It, it was, as I say, uh, 30 years before there was any, and 50 years before it amounted to much of any. A long time. Now, the golf, that's immediately recognizable and acceptable, and it's part of today's world. This is not part of today's world. But it actually, it took 50 years to be accepted and approved and um, uh, even then um, we didn't have that many uh, compliments or accolades. Did you ever have to make any sacrifices beyond the obvious time that uh, to, to carry on with your work? Well, yes, I'm sure I did. I don't remember exactly what all of them were. But uh, we did. But of course, Charlie was tied to the telephone anyway, so it would really have been very hard for him to go on the golf course or the bowling alley. So this was something he could do at home and didn't interfere with anybody or anything. And so actually, as I say, it was a harmless uh, hobby. It turned out to be very valuable, but uh, you know, if you have a man working on the car out in the driveway, he's made a big mess and uh, got his clothes all dirty and things like that. So there were some pluses to this, actually, if you looked at it the right way. <laughs> I want to tell about <clears throat> our main thrust here has been obituary collection. But in addendum to that or a sideline, I have a collection almost equal to the obituaries in just a people study of the people of Evansville and little vignettes or little cutouts on their accomplishments or their contributions or their places in life. In a, the normal newspaper will pick up a promotion for a man at the bank. Well, during my studies, I would oftentimes cut those out and file those too under the name of the man. So that built up and built up and built up, not only of bankers, but other people in the city who had done things. I didn't do so thorough on the sports page, which is a one or two or three page uh, collective in itself. I didn't always collect those 
people who had greater confidence than then, but I, I might have got some of them in sporadically. And along the way through life, I started somewhere collecting yearbooks of, of schools, like the graduating class of each of our s several high schools in this city. And I didn't do well on collecting all of them, but I have a, a mass collective of them now. And I have, through the years, photographed those uh, graduating students. So that being a milestone in their life will appear in my history work. And uh, later in life, they may have gone to work at uh, one of the factories in Devso, or they may have gone to, to work at the bank or in a, a finance company, or they may have gone off to the military. And their picture may have appeared in the paper in those uh, collectives. So I have a lot of that in my background too, which has been uh, microfilmed and also appears on my internet sites. Now, if you had asked me these questions 40 years ago, my answers would have been vastly different. Uh, today, I have a different attitude. Everybody has a different attitude. Time, truth is the daughter of time, I guess. And um, we all learn from it. Okay, whenever you guys are ready. You can walk through. I think that's all I want to know. He'll give you your key one to open up. Now. Head, we're ready. All right, whenever you're ready. Quite a bit, and it has uh, got a lot of records in here. It can hardly be found anywhere else. It has a historic value, and it has uh, a lot of not only old newspapers, but old prints from many ways and many, many angles. And you could find a lot of valuable Evansville information right in this building. Lots of your friends are here when you come up to the second floor at uh, the Willard Library. Lots of your friends are, are here, and ask you questions about your searches. Do they use your microfilm here or did they use your microfilm here a lot in the past? Oh yeah, when I donated that microfilm here it was a great help to many people who wanted to look into Evansville history, of, mostly of Evansville people. That's what my main uh, thrust was through the people of Evansville and I did it by the obituary fashion and I copied, translated and made all the obituaries back to the early years of the 1900s, available to everybody at no cost, just whenever they wanted to turn their computer on, it is now there and available for them. In the early days, it just was on a microphone, and they had to come here and grind the microphone to the proper people that they were searching for. But today, 
after all these years of uh, putting that together, it's now on the internet and it can be found in your living room or anywhere. So you wouldn't have to come here to Willard or even to the Central Library to get the information if you were inclined to stay at home. Almost every time when I came in here, I would see somebody with it on, on the spindles of the microphone reader. And uh, so it, not every reader was uh, occupied with my work, but almost every time I came here, there was somebody on one of the reading machines with my reels of uh, people of Evansville uh, working on the, on the machine, and they would be doing their history, right? Like a lot of other people were doing other types of work. So it was frequently they called me here from the library and the other library that the, the film was breaking in places and it could well be replaced and I had done that several times. This, this library is a major source of genealogy for the Evansville area. Um, can you comment on how your work has helped the genealogical research? I feel that my work has helped a lot of people in, in genealogical research insofar it saves them lots and lots of time. Time that they couldn't even understand that they were saving. They come and just wheel in, reel into my uh, alphabetical order of something and they would find the person they're in search for and on that information sheet would be other people of, the, of that family, their kindred, and they would very quickly find what they were after and it would give them another line of research and another line of research so all the time that did save by my finding my work quickly was then again occupied by the other names that they found to look up. So I thought that I would save them a lot of time but when they got into this research they found other avenues of entry so it, it sort of absorbed their time anyway even though all those uh, historical facts were wrapped in there in some manner. How does it make you feel uh, when everybody takes a look at your research and, and all the nice things people have said over the years and, and the awards that they've given you? How does that make you feel looking back? Very complimentary. The awards that I have received and uh, comments and, and uh, different effects that people have given me for the work that I've done. And I didn't even think this was forthcoming. It's just a, a medium research that they could hardly find anywhere else. There are encyclopedias everywhere. There are dictionaries everywhere. But there are not this type of work on the people of our community. In that framework, many people have called you at work and found relatives that they could never find for many years. Can you comment on that? Yes, when they, in the early days in my work, it was not on the uh, internet, so they would frequently call me and ask me who and what and where they could find information on their grandparents or great-grandparents, and I would refer them to my, uh, my microfilm, which was available. It was not yet there on the internet, but it was uh, available to many people, and sometimes I could give them two or three leads right there on the phone call. So it's, I feel it's been helpful to lots of people. I can't even count anymore the calls that I used to get and the calls that I don't know about today, but, but the resource people at the library say I am approaching 10 million hits a year on my work, which is uh, almost ahead of anybody in the community and maybe way up in number of hits for other libraries throughout the state. Oh yes, the library has been helpful to me and they, they felt throughout the years that I would sit at the, at the microfilm that I was uh, doing something. They didn't always follow me on all my tracks, but after I would get that and type it into cards and eventually put it in focus for everybody, then they knew I had been doing quite a bit of research. Even though they had seen me, they didn't always see the net result. Working keeping of all the deaths in the Evansville area seemed important to my understanding of the community. Record keeping in an alphabetical manner seemed an excellent reference in my early career. The relatives of deceased are listed in each one of our entries. These will assist in understanding many generations. Our study is unique in that it includes many of the activities of ancestors during their lives. Our study is unique in that it includes many of the activities of our ancestors during their lives. Our study includes user-friendly computer searching. Our study 
saves hours, even days, of research time. Recording the information in an identical manner on 3x5 cards was the first step. Alphabetizing the 3x5 cards by the last name was the next step. Then we microfilmed the information for library use. 